In this video, we will show you how to wire and program an ATV312 drive to run in two-wire control. Now in two-wire control, we actually mean, what that means basically is that you're basically allowing the closure of a contact between the 24 supply and the logic input one terminal. So you can have a normally open contact between it and the one that, when the contact is closed, it will run the drive and when it's open, it will stop the drive. That's, what's, that's what two-wire means. Now I will say that the, the drive, 312 three, drive, is already programmed as two-wire control from the factory and it is in most cases anyway. And, um, but if for some reason it's been changed or if you want to confirm that, you can always go ahead and uh, first of all confirm that it's programmed for two-wire. So we can uh, enter from your main display. Scroll down to I.O. Inputs and outputs menu. The first parameter is Tom Charlie Charlie and when you enter on that you want that to be on 2C for 2 wire. You have the option of making it 3C as well but make sure it's on 2C. In the event that you have to change this make sure you press and hold the enter key for a number of seconds about 3 or so seconds if you have to make a change but we didn't have to so we can just press escape because it's already on 2 wire. And the next parameter is uh, once you're back to TCC, you can go down to TCT, next one down. And this is basically a, a type of level control or type of two-wire control in general. So from the factory set up as, as a transition, which means that you actually have to power the drive up first and then toggle your run command. Otherwise, if it gets a run command upon power up, it will go to an NSD state, which means that it didn't like the fact that it came with a run command. So you have to turn off your run command if that's the case. But you can make it level control. So right now it's on transition. You can make it level, counterclockwise, and on level. So what level means basically is that when the drive is powered up with a run command, it will just go ahead and run. Uh, you don't have to wait till the drive is powered up to toggle your run command, which might be important for some kind of safety issues depending on how your setup is. But this is important for level control is important for when you're doing automatic restart and the like. So. Um, so now that we've done that, it's already set up for two wire and I already have a speed reference of some kind coming into this drive. So we can escape back out and like I said, LI1 is your run forward command on this drive for two wire control. So we can toggle it and as you can tell, it's just ramping up your drive. And now we can uh, remove the 24 DC off of LI1 and it'll go back to ready. Now, I want to go and show you how the drive is going to react in a transition mode. So we can go ahead and go back into the I.O. menu, TCT parameter. Let's make it back to transition. All right. So with it powered up, it runs fine. It stops fine. But let's go ahead and enable the run command. Kill power to the drive. Let it go blank and then power back up and you get an NST. As you can tell, with the run command enabled upon power up with a transition state, it did not like that. It expected you to drive to get a power first and then you toggle your run command. So you can choose to uh, disable your run command and reapply it again. And as you can tell, it's happy now that it knows that it's okay to run. So this is basically how you set up a 312 drive to run 2R control as well as the types of two-wire type you can assign on this particular uh, 312 drive.